you're using ChatGPT wrong and it's because it wasn't built for you. And because of that, you're probably wasting so much time arguing with your default chat. And I promise you that there is a better way. Hey, I'm Jill Wise, a marketing strategist and mentor, and I help my clients make database decisions to set up marketing systems that actually fit their goals, their capacity, and their life. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what makes custom GPTs different from your default chat, some specific tasks that custom GPTs can handle, and actual custom GPT examples that will work for digital CEOs. So basically, this is your crash course in custom GPTs and how you can make these AI tools work for you even if you don't really know anything about it yet. Because I promise you that it does not need to be complicated in order to be effective. Okay, so first, let's talk about what makes custom GPTs different from your default chat. If you've been using ChatGPT for a while, then you know that there are some upsides, some advantages, advantages and also some downsides. Specifically, I know that people say they are wasting so much time trying to use AI tools like ChatGPT because they don't know how to prompt it or they don't know what they want from it or they feel like they are wasting time arguing with it, trying to get the output they want, but they don't really know how and then at the end they're like, I could have done this faster myself. There's also the challenge of the personality of your default chat that is very eager and helpful and obviously we kind of like that, but at the same time, we don't wanna go down 10 different paths or have a bunch of different suggestions for things that we don't actually need to do. So many people leave conversations with their AI tools, wondering why they have more on their list than before they started, and what's the most important thing that they were trying to do anyways. There's also the challenge of hallucinations and it just not really doing what you want it to do. Custom GPTs are the solution to fix that and they are the tool that's missing so that it creates this actual system or workflow within your business rather than you just sitting down and trying to talk to AI to get something out of it. So what makes custom GPTs different in how they actually function? First, you can give them specific roles and targeted outputs. That means that they can be trained on frameworks to generate the results that you want and actually fits within your business. So you can teach them their job description, their role, their boundaries, the workflows that you want them to follow. And this means that there's gonna be fewer hallucinations, so you are gonna get better results. Basically, your custom GPTs are way less likely to just bullshit you and lead you down the wrong path. And if you set these up well, then they can become part of your larger business systems or workflows and processes rather than you just trying to talk to AI to get something done. So you can set parameters and give them knowledge bases so that they can remember your brand messaging, your voice, your business model, your audience nuances, and your frameworks and templates to get the job done. And then if you set them up with the correct parameters, they're not gonna suggest 10 other things that you don't need to do right now. And we all know that we need fewer distractions in the day. So the ones that I build have the strategy and the process built in so the user doesn't even need to think about the next step. They're all designed to guide you through the process. And this is especially helpful for my clients because they're not the strategist. They come to me for the strategy, but this creates a self-serve option for them to actually get more done on their own. And I love that for people because that kind of independence helps them move faster and get things done faster and then therefore grow faster. Next, let's talk about specific tasks that your custom GPTs can do for you. And I'm gonna clarify that a lot of these sound like things that just your default chat could do, but the problem is the output, the results are not gonna be consistent because when you are talking to your default chat, you are letting it decide what it thinks you want. And these tools, they wanna to get an A+. Plus. They wanna give you what they think that you want. But if you haven't actually given them that strategy to begin with, then they are gonna freestyle. So the real difference is that your custom GPTs are trained to give you the specific high quality output that you want. And a lot of people use ChatGPT as their ghostwriter or their junior writer. And while yes, that is one tool for it, there's so much more you can do with it. So on the list is things like write website copy based on a real strategy, but they can also help you come up with that strategy by helping you with competitor analysis and deciding what the outline and the navigation and the flow of your website is gonna be. Your custom GPTs can also give you feedback on your messaging tone. They can help you prioritize launch tasks. I personally love my repurposer GPT that helps me turn my YouTube videos into a blog post that's actually in my voice, actually using my words, not scraping stuff from the internet. And then it can turn my blog post into multiple pieces of content that is all following my frameworks that I've decided. So in that case, it's not actually writing anything from scratch for me. I know that it's only using my words and my content and it'll leave me placeholders even when I need to fill in the blanks for different pieces of content. You can also have your custom GPTs help you create branded workflows and other business documents that you need to just like keep things running smoothly. So those are some ideas of tasks that you can have your custom GPTs do and like the outputs that you can have it create knowing that the quality is going to be higher than your default chat. But what about the roles of these assistants? 
So next I'm gonna give you some GPT examples that will work for a digital CEO. I keep coming back to this point, but really your custom GPTs are only gonna be good as the prompts that you give it and the training that you give it. Some people will give a short two to three sentence prompt when they are setting up their GPT and they will run with that. I've noticed that these ones don't work as effectively as you want them to and there's still a lot of back and forth and we wanna work smarter, not harder. So I look at building my custom GPTs like I would training a team member and I give them all of the relevant information that I would a human team member so that they know what their role is and their parameters and what it is that I want them to create. So really my custom GPTs get an entire onboarding manual that they can follow and that means the output is so much better. I also train it on relevant information from my business, so the IP materials, the uh, templates, the tools, the frameworks, the past client examples, and actually working with it to make sure that the GPT output is consistent and high quality. Because I don't wanna waste my time doing all this work with my AI tools just to have to pull it out of the chat and then spend a ton of time editing it anyways. So let's talk about the examples now. I'm just gonna rapid fire these off for you. You could create a company knowledge base that is a self-serve team support tool. So this would look like training it on your USB, your products, your marketing angles, and letting it be a self-serve tool for your team members so that they can ask it for these resources before they need to come to you. You could also build one that is your negotiation or your sales coach so that it's designed to help you role play in different scenarios and will give you strategic suggestions to improve for next time. Or you could make one that is your SEO website auditor and it's gonna look at your website and your competitors and give you a checklist of things that you can do to improve. Another idea is to create an onboarding assistant for any new team members so that they can get up to speed on everything that makes you and your brand so you. Again, eliminating the need for people to ask you all of the basic questions because it's all in there for them. Ones that I'm really excited about are onboarding assistants for clients. So instead of using static forms, you can use your GPTs to onboard onboard clients and have a more interactive experience with them. And those ones also have the potential to give your clients quick wins before they even have their first call with you. And kind of along the same lines, depending on what your business model is, you could create a coaching assistant for clients so that they can self-serve resources and help navigate through libraries of resources so that they have those simple questions answered and more targeted like suggestions before they even need to talk to you. So not only do these ideas free up your time, but they help everybody involved become a lot more independent. And then the work that you're doing is more focused on like the higher impact things. And then taking a step further, you could actually build AI agents that function outside of your ChatGPT. So these would be able to cross between different platforms and do things like your inbox management and your scheduling. These ones would integrate with the other platforms so they could still be the customer support kind of agent, but they just have more functionality across all of your platforms. Overall, you need to know that you do not need to settle for generic and there is a better way than just talking to chat all the time. And if you wanna start running your business like a true CEO, then you need to look at these ways that you can systemize the tools that you have. It's all about working smarter and not harder to come up with something that's gonna actually work for you. If you like this video, then let me know. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And otherwise I will see you in the next one.